This tutorial is going to help you hack one of the biggest design trends of the season and it's going to save you a lot of money. Hi, I'm Ash and I'm the DIYer behind Aloe Plum. I started this channel because even though there are millions of DIY tutorials out there, most of them just don't have the design taste that I personally want to use in my own home. I'm lucky enough to be surrounded by design professionals in my everyday life, and now I can share what I've learned with you. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on that little notification bell so you don't miss any of my tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a modern embroidered pillow with tassels for only about $10. That's $100 cheaper than the Inspiration Pillow from Magnolia Market. Modern Farmhouse is one of the trends of the moment. It's made up of a mix of rustic, bohemian, and lived-in yet modern pieces. Even if you have never embroidered, stay with me. This pillow is incredibly easy. It only uses one stitch. And as we go, I am also going to be giving you my pro tips on how to incorporate these trends without dating your interior design style. And stay tuned to the very end where I will share with you my number one interior design lesson to live by. Before we get started, you might be able to hear it in my voice. I have been sick. I cannot kick this cold. So I'm turning in my wine today for some whiskey. It's supposed to help, right? I'm making my pillow out of canvas. You can use any material you want, but make sure it's a fabric with no stretch. And if you want to hear more about why and my top five embroidery tips for beginners, head over to my channel and check out that tutorial. After this one, of course. I have a pillow form that is 16 by 20, so I cut two pieces of canvas that were about 18 by 22. I always cut my pieces a little larger than I need to when I'm working on an embroidery piece like this one, so that when I am done, I can recenter my design and then trim off any edges. One of the big design components you are going to see in anything from Magnolia Market, or for that matter, West Elm, CB2, Restoration Hardware, is geometric patterns. And this is not something that the modern farmhouse trend or Joanna Gaines invented. Which brings me to my first design tip for designing with hot trends. Focus on the components of the trends that are timeless. Geometric patterns will never go out of style. They are a great thing to steal from a hot trend. However, words and fonts are the fastest trends to die. Remember that good old live, laugh, love? If you have that on your wall, I'm pretty sure you put it up in the early 2000s. Or you are stuck in the early 2000s. Maybe your kitchen still has a Tuscan theme? So do make a modern farmhouse inspired pillow designed with geometric patterns that can adapt to future trends. Don't make a pillow with the word gather in a bounce script. That trend will die and you won't be able to adapt that piece into the next trend you love. While I love the pattern on the Inspiration Pillow, I felt like making this my own. So I created a pattern out of layered repeating triangles. If you want to use my pattern, head over to my website, alloplum.com, where I will have it available as a free download. And I've put the link below in the description on this video. I've placed a piece of stabilizer that's water dissolvable over my pattern, and I'm just using a Sharpie marker and a ruler to trace over each of my triangles. This is a great way to transfer a pattern to any fabric because when you're done embroidering, you just wash it off. And just peel the backing off your stabilizer and adhere your design right to your fabric. And I overlapped two pieces of stabilizer to cover my whole pillow front. For my embroidery work on this pillow, I'm using DMC Embroidery Floss in 924, 926, 927, and 939. And here is my second tip for designing with hot trends. Don't overuse any one color in your interior design. I like to keep a neutral base of classics, whites, grays, tans, browns, and blacks. And then I add in a variety of colors that are trendy, but diluted by being surrounded by enough variation in the rest of my decor. 
I remember my high school years being dominated by hunter green and burgundy. And if you put up hunter green curtains and bought a burgundy rug, you took it too far. And if you still have it, you shouldn't have people over. But I could totally still swing a hunter green base on my bookshelf. It's all about moderation when you want your color trends to last through the years. If you like hearing these design tips during my tutorials, leave me a comment below. And if you hate them, well, tell me that too. I'm a huge fan of gradients. So I'm doing my pillow in a gradient from darkest to lightest. After printing my pattern out, even though I made it with gradient in mind, I went over it with markers to mark which color I was going to do each triangle in. And I adjusted some of the colors to have a little bit more overlap. Don't worry, this color guide is also on alloplum.com. I'm not gonna lie, I started out doing a Hungarian braided stitch and I kept messing it up over and over and over again. So then I switched to a heavy chain stitch, which is one of the easiest stitches ever, and it saved my sanity. To do a heavy chain stitch, I'm starting with three strands of embroidery floss on my needle. I'm going to begin the stitch by coming up through my fabric and then back down, making a small starting stitch. Then I'm going to come back up through my fabric a stitch length away pull my needle through that first stitch and then back into the hole I just came up in. Now I'm going to go up another stitch length and pull my needle up. I'm going to pull my needle again through that first starting stitch and then back down into the hole I came up in. By doubling up your stitches like this, you create a nice heavy line. Now that your stitch is started, let me show you what it will look like for the rest of your stitches. Again, pull your needle up a stitch length later, pull your needle through not your last chain, but the chain before that, and bring it around and back into the hole you came up in. And repeat. Pull your needle up, go through the second to your last chain, and back down into the same hole you just came up in. This is a really easy stitch that gives a nice thick line that reminds me of our inspiration pillow from Magnolia Market. While this project is super easy, it is a time-consuming project. So go find a comfy chair, throw in a movie, and embroider away. For me, this is a really good project because I have a really hard time letting myself take time to relax. I always want to maximize every minute, so being forced to sit and chill with the family in the evenings while I work on my embroidery piece is really good for me. And if you like embroidery projects that you can use in your modern home, check out my tutorial on the embroidered pillow I made based off one of my husband's architecture school designs. These projects also tend to have a way of working themselves into my social time. Ask any of my friends and they will tell you how embarrassing it is when I pull an embroidery project or a crocheting project out at the bar. I gotta get stuff done. I can drink and stitch. Once your embroidery is complete, remove the stabilizer. Make sure your design is centered where you want it to be. Trim up the edges and sew it right sides together, leaving an opening big enough to stuff in your pillow form. Flip it right side out and iron it. Now you're ready to attach the tassels. Quick side note on the sewing, sewing is easy, I promise, but if you really think you can't, canvas is a great material to hot glue. You can iron your seams inward and then glue the pillow together. To make my tassels, I'm using 100% cotton yarn in a similar teal color to my embroidery work. You can either use yarn or you can just use embroidery floss too, but it will take quite a bit of embroidery floss to get the thickness you need to match the look of our inspiration pillow. I'm just using my hand to wrap my yarn around. You can also use a piece of cardboard or a book. I actually found that for this project my cell phone was a perfect size too. I'm going to go around 40 times with my yarn and then slip it off my hand. Now I'm going to take a piece of my embroidery floss because this will be used to attach my tassel to my pillow and I'm going to pull it through the loop and tie it in a double knot. Cut through the loops on the other end too and that creates your tassel fringe. Now take an extra piece of yarn and wrap it around your tassel a little ways down from the top. 
I like to double knot mine and then go around again and double knot it one more time. Trim off the extra pieces and trim across the bottom and you're done. To attach the tassels to my pillow, I simply took the embroidery floss that I used to tie my tassel together and I thread it through a needle and sewed one tassel to each corner. If you love tassels, check out my Pottery Barn inspired oversized tassel garland tutorial too. Now all you have to do is stuff the pillow form in and sew up your last gap. And here it is, my Magnolia Market inspired throw pillow. It has some great basic design components, a neutral and natural fabric, a geometric pattern, and a touch of color that, while trendy, isn't dominating my home's decor. And these tassels give it a great bohemian chic vibe, but they're gonna be easy to cut off if this trend dies. If you liked this tutorial, don't forget to like my video too. And make sure you subscribe to my channel because I have more great modern DIY projects hacked from your favorite stores coming your way soon. And leave me a comment below if there is a design piece you love that you want me to create a tutorial about so that you can make it yourself. All of the information from today's tutorial, including the free embroidery pattern download, is on my website, aloplum.com. Go check it out. And finally, as promised, one of my top interior design rules to live by. As soon as a trend is lining the shelves of Target, it's on its way out. So remember my tips from earlier in this tutorial and choose wisely. I love Target as much as the next person, but what I mean by this is that at this point, the trend is definitely hitting the masses and it's available to everyone which means it's only a matter of time until it's completely overdone. Thanks for watching. I hope I see you soon. Cheers. I've been drinking this whiskey this entire tutorial and my throat still doesn't feel better. Maybe another one. Whiskey helps, right? This is a thing. It's supposed to help. <laughs>